We've got damp all the way up here. Yeah, not ideal. Doesn't fit. Kitchen space here, which is good. And then this interesting little box. Explain to the people why you just dragged me on a two hour trip. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I forgot to tell David that this was gonna be a four hour round trip. We are currently outside a property that we've just purchased. It is a property up in the northeast. No, nope, northwest of England. Managed to get it through before Christmas, which is always good. And we are just gonna have a quick look around. The builder is ready, he's good to go. We've got the quote locked in. I might push him back to start in January, save him having to do, for the point of recording, like a week away from Christmas. So saves him coming in, doing like two days work and then kicking off in January. But right now, I want to come pick up the keys. Hopefully they've actually, the, the vendors have actually left the keys in the lockbox, otherwise we're gonna be driving home or breaking in. Yeah, let's go have a look at it. Here we go. Yes. Doesn't fit. It fits. Let's have a look around. So when we first came and had a look at this property, it was owner-occupied person, well no, they'd moved out, but it was owned by somebody who had all their stuff in here still little bit of a hoarder and there was just stuff everywhere so hopefully i've got a video of a walkthrough to show that they cleared out the property before we actually completed on it so that was all done last week just before completion so this is this is the space we've got a kind of two reception rooms that have been not quite knocked through into one so i think we'll get rid of we'll probably get rid of this and just make it a step down. They're two different levels because we are we are on a big slope and uh, just the way the houses are. So we're not gonna lift the levels up because I don't think it's gonna be worth the money. Uh, but we are, I, the rooms are massive, right? If you have a look around, these rooms are actually huge. What we were thinking about doing originally and where I originally got this property, the offer accepted was, uh, my plan was to turn this into a HMO. So the idea would be that we would block up all of this here and this we'd turn into, we'd knock through and have this as a door into bedroom number one. And then as you can see throughout, there is a way of turning this into a five bed HMO. I'm not going to do that. We've changed our minds and I think from a financial perspective, um, it doesn't make sense. Also, this is a property in an area that I don't own other properties. I don't have many others. And to be honest, I'm not really planning on buying any more in this area. So rather than just having one HMO in the middle of nowhere where I've not got any other investments, I just thought, let's do this, renovate it into like a nice family home and then get it sold. So that's the plan with it. Um, watch your step on the way down. But yeah, it looks okay. One of the one of the big problems that we had was on the on the photos, it didn't actually show this beautiful little addition that they've added into the kitchen. So as you come into the kitchen, you'll see that there's a nice little addition, but we've got kitchen space here, which is good. And then this, this interesting little box, which, well, yeah, definitely make sure you wash your hands, although, I think by the time you've washed your hands in there, it's gonna just be even worse. So it's not um, not an ideal space. Yeah, so the person who lived here, they ended up having to live downstairs and the upstairs wasn't in use. So they installed this downstairs toilet bathroom thing. Um, it's actually quite sad to be honest, because someone lived in, in this property up until like a few months ago. So it's not really a nice state. And so that's why we're gonna be coming in. We're gonna rip this whole thing out. There's been a a big leak that's come through. I can't remember what it was. I'll have to double check when we go upstairs. I think it's from, um, I think it's from the bathroom upstairs. I don't think it's come through from the from the roof or anything. But there's just quite a lot of damp in this property, so we're going to be stripping a lot of it back and fixing a lot of the damp issues, um, and then, yeah, getting it getting it freshly renovated into a nice new family home. And you can see as well here that um, we've got a big kind of damp patch. We've got damp all the way up here. And it's a combination of things. Um, primarily is to do with the guttering in the chimney. So if you were to look out at the guttering and have a look, you'll see it'll be filled with like moss or whatever, some, some form of residue that's just causing loads and loads of water to just spill down. 
and it's just meaning that this whole surface of the wall is getting soaked all day, every day. Um, and the same with the chimney, it just needs capping off properly. So we're gonna get that fixed and that should sort a lot of the, the damp problems that we've got. I also think that kitchen's gonna be a nice, a nice size once we've knocked out that, that weird bathroom. Uh, it's actually gonna be quite a decent sized kitchen. Um, as you can see, we've got the, the bathroom here, so we don't need that one downstairs. If you have a little look, we've got, again, just needs fully ripping out and um, starting again. In here, we have the, uh, the rear uh, small kind of box bedroom. Again, we've got loads of damp problems, but uh, we can get those sorted. Uh, we know the causes of a lot of it, so I'm not actually concerned. We will, the, the kind of schedule of works on these sorts of things is that we'll come in, we'll rip everything out, We'll fix the issues, we'll do the remedial works. Um, in, in this property, a lot of that comes down to fixing holes in the roof, capping off the chimney, sorting the guttering out, you know, th those sorts of things. Once those are fixed, a surprising amount of the work will just be cosmetic then. We'll freshly plaster stuff, get it all done to a nice standard and we wouldn't have those damp issues again. So, this is bedroom number two. Got a bit of light in here. Um, we've got the boiler in here, just a normal glow worm, it's actually not too bad, I think it's one of those like council installed ones. Um, so the boiler's fine. As you can see though, we would, we would have, this is bedroom number, uh, if we we're going to go for the HMO, we'd go bedroom number one downstairs, we'd go two, which we're about to look into, this would be number three, number four over there, and how are we going to get the fifth one in? I think we were going to... One, two, three, four. I think we're gonna split this next room if you have a look at this. That was it. We we're gonna put a stud wall here. This is the master bedroom. We we're gonna put a stud wall here and we we're gonna have bedroom number one, bedroom number two um, here like that because it's a huge room with loads and loads of space. So yeah, but we're not gonna do that ultimately after saying all of that. <laughs> we're, not, we're not converting it into HMO. As I said, the, the original plan was that we'd buy this convert it into a five bed, pass it on to a housing provider, get guaranteed rent for like five years, which would have been great and I'm, I'm more than happy to do that and still actually exploring the option of it. But right now, I think an easier option would be quick in and out. We're gonna buy it, renovate it, do a nice fresh refurb on it. I'm expecting the refurb to be about 25K, including all the new kitchen, new bathroom, bit of plastering, full rewire, uh, remedial works to the chimney, guttering, painting the outside, like there's just, that's absolutely everything, about 25K is what I'm expecting it to be. So we bought this for 87,000 pounds, the purchase price, we've completed on it on Friday. Uh, the legal costs were actually surprisingly cheap on this one for reasons there's no point going into on the video, but the legal costs were a lot cheaper, so we managed to pick it up with the legal costs of about 1,000 pounds. We got uh, the stamp duty that we paid for, didn't pay any broker fees or anything like that. We've bought this cash with investor finance. We're gonna be spending 25,000 pounds renovating it, and then we're gonna be selling it. Open market value at the moment, depending on the quality of the finish once it's all done, top end is gonna be 170. Um, bottom end, if we just did like a really rough job, we were talking about 150. So it depends on, on where we kind of land in the quality at, at the end of it, but I'm hoping to get much, much, much closer to that 170 mark. So we should be walking away with a good kind of, I can't remember what it is off the top of my head, it's 40, 40,000 pound profit, something like that. Once it's all done, all costs are paid. So yeah, it looks good. I'm, I'm very happy with it. I'm glad that they've emptied it out because when we last came in here, I don't think they've cleared the garden, which is gonna be really annoying because we completed very quickly, hoping that they would. Yep, great. So we've got, the frustrating thing about all of this is that now I'm gonna to have to pay more money to get this stuff cleared because the vendor didn't do it. Yeah, not ideal. Come and have a look at this. So the frustrate, the really frustrating thing about this is, you see here there's a bunch of branches. There was like, it was seriously overgrown. All of this was just hidden by shrubbery. Um, and it was just fully overgrown, everything was stuck in here. But we did say to the vendor, we literally came out here and I said, that needs to go. And they were like, don't worry, the council's taking it, don't stress. 
and they haven't taken it. So unless the council is going to come pick it up and they are going to clear it for whatever reason, this is now going to be our job to clear. So that is, it's not, it's not like going to break the bank or it's going to ruin the deal, but it's just an annoying, an annoying extra cost and added work for the guys. Also, if you have a look along the back of the house, you'll see, if you look up, you'll see that the guttering is filled with moss. You can actually see the source of all of the damp. It's that the gutters are filled with stuff. So once that's cleared, that will actually be not a problem. We'll, we'll, we'll be able to stop any of the, the damp kind of reoccurring and then we just kind of fix it up inside. You don't get a lot of houses, a lot of areas where you get so much house for your money. I mean, 87 grand for this. I know it's a bit of a hole and it needs a lot of work, but it's a pretty good price, isn't it? So once we're all done, renovated, we'll be able to do another video and show you how it went. I'm happy with the purchase. Um, do you know what? I am actually happy with the purchase. There's the thing with the clutter in the guards and all but overall, it, I'm very happy with it. There's a lot of work to be done to it, but I expected that. We've already got the quote from the builder. So it's one of those really where you go into it and you think it's not a nice house, but that's why I bought it. So I'm happy with it. We'll obviously renovate it, get it to a nice condition. The benefit, the other reason why I like it is we got it at such a good discount that even if we just had to sell it now, I think we'd make a profit on it. So all round, pretty good deal. Very happy with it.